Hey guys, welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial by Techtopia. And I guess I'm just gonna do another intro creation tutorial because I have like no ideas what to do for a tutorial. So if you want to request something, you can go ahead. But here's a little preview of what we're gonna be creating today. I hope that didn't lag too much. I'll play it again for you. And now it's like. It only lags that uh, on the 3D bit, but that's uh, pretty much unpreventable unless you have a really fast computer. But uh, I hope you uh, got that, and I hope it wasn't too bad for you guys. And let's just create this. So let's just uh, create a new project here. And we're primarily going to be working with the media generators. So if you don't have that tab up, just go up here to view, and then make sure media generators is checked. So uh, here's the media generators tab. I'm going to go under noise texture and drag puffy clouds into the timeline. Now uh, I'm just gonna mess around with these colors here. Uh, this top color up here, there's two color panels, the top one and the bottom one. Uh, for the top one, I'm just gonna pull it all the way down to black and then I'm just gonna leave the uh, color B, the second color panel, at its default. And we're just gonna move this keyframe slider all the way to the end. And I'm gonna put this progress in degrees to about 0 .0, or 0 0.640. And uh, that, that'll do it, I guess. Now if we play this back, I'll go on a smaller quality settings for you guys. So uh, we don't want too much clouds. Uh, this is good. This is a good rate. So uh, that's what we'll use. Uh, you can increase or decrease the frequency and the speed and stuff accordingly, but that's uh, what I'll use. Let's insert a new video track. So just right-click your timeline, hit Insert Video Track. You're going to drag lightning on top of it. Now what we're going to do is uh, for color B, uh, you know, the two panels here, uh, color A and color B, top, bottom, same thing. Under here, we're going to set the alpha for color B to nothing so that it's transparent if we look in the preview. Here's if the alpha is at full and here's at when it's uh, at zero. So just uh, take this little thingy here and pull it all the way to zero. And then you can adjust uh, the color of the color A to whatever you want. Uh, I guess I'll go with a lime greenish color. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to simply put a keyframe at the end of the timeline and put progress in degrees to full. Let's see what we got so far. All right, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go to the pan and crop window for my lightning. So just hit this little white icon, uh, event pan slash crop or right click your timeline and hit video event pan slash crop. Here's our pan and crop dialog box. Uh, I'm gonna do a few tweaks here. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger and rotate it so that it's sideways just like so and position it to wherever I want, so that'll be pretty good. Let's uh, use our keyframe timeline to move about two seconds, and let's rotate it some more, make it a bit smaller, and just move it a bit. Move a few more keyframes, or a few more seconds, about the four second mark. Let's make this really big, and okay. And now let's go to the six second mark. And you're basically doing the same thing, just rotating it, moving it around, making it bigger or smaller, whatever you want. And now finally the 8 second mark. Let's just make this a lot smaller. And rotate it. It's really hard to maneuver this uh, controls here, but okay, that'll do. Let's play it back. And we got our lightning, and it's uh, moving all over the place. Uh, you can do whatever you want with the lightning, I'm just going to leave it like that. So, okay, now that looks pretty good. Let's uh, bring up our text right now. Insert a new video track. Go to our text and drag default text. Make sure it's default text, otherwise it won't be transparent. You can see our text in the video preview. I'm just going to type up Techtopia. I'm going to change the font here by selecting my text. Go into our fonts and let's just pick a really cool one here. Uh, can't really find any. I should really download some more fonts. Uh, here's one, Jailbird Jenna. Let's uh, make this a bit smaller. Uh, size 48 will do for me. Uh, it all varies depending on the font. Let's go to effects, have draw outline checked if we want. Change the color. Add some width, add a drop shadow. And you can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So now that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is uh, add 3D values to our text. So if we go over here to our compositing modes on the text track and change it to 3D Source Alpha, uh, this is only available on the Sony Vegas Pro Edition, by the way. Now, if we go up here to Track Motion, we can now edit this text in 3D. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, simply drag this little sphere thing 
uh, over here, so, and you can, as you see, it's kind of like a 3D orb thing. And you're just gonna position it till it looks good. I'm uh, going out about here, position it into the like so it's completely out of the frame. I'm gonna move about one second into my project and position it around here, and let's rotate it a bit. Go a few more frames, position it to the very center, rotate it almost all the way, and let's uh, increase the size here. Actually, scratch that, I'm gonna rotate it completely the way, all the way. And okay, let's see what this looks like. It's probably gonna lag a lot, but that's uh, I can't do much about that. My computer's not amazing. All right, didn't lag. That's pretty good. So that's what we got so far, and that's pretty much it. I'll do a few more tweaks. Uh, first of all, if your computer's lagging a lot due to the 3D editing, the only way you can really fix this is just by having a good computer. Uh, I have a 2.4 gigahertz processor. It's a quad-core processor, an Intel one, and I have about three gigs of RAM and a pretty big hard drive. So uh, it does the job, but it could be a bit better. Now, uh, even if you don't have enough RAM or so anything like that, you can still fix it. Go up here to your video preview, and it should be at like best auto or something. Just click this and change it to something lower. I recommend preview auto for 3D editing. So, okay, we got our text and it comes up 3D. It looks pretty good. What we're going to do now is uh, just add a quick filter to our clouds track so that it enhances it a bit. Let's go to our video effects. Go all the way down to TV simulator. Drag reset to none and drag it onto your clouds. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, I did this a lot in my uh, other videos, but I just like this effect, so I'm going to position my keyframes at the one second mark, and I'm going to hit this insert keyframe button, right click our new keyframe, hit hold, move a few frames, I'm going to put static up, and a bit of phosphorescence, phosphorescence, say that ten times quickly, interlacing, arbitrary grill, detail zoom. And, of course, line sync has to be all the way down. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now let's uh, right-click our new keyframe and hit linear. Move a few more frames. And let's put all these settings back to normal. Alright, see here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's uh, just right-click our new keyframe and hit hold. So you should have a pattern like this. Hold keyframe, linear keyframe, hold keyframe. The only keyframe that actually has the modified settings is your linear keyframe, which is sandwiched between the two holds. What this will do is it'll create kind of a jump effect, where all your modified settings will only jump at specific points. I'm going to click, just uh, put your mouse cursor uh, near the keyframes themselves, click and drag, and you should see this kind of box thing coming up, and this selects all your keyframes. You can now right click any one of the keyframes and hit copy, and just paste them accordingly. So. Control V, paste, or you can just right click and hit paste. So there we go, we have our new keyframes and they are all aligned uh, to wherever I want. Let's go like that, and now the clouds, or the puffy clouds in the background, the smoke, whatever you want to call it, is kind of doing these uh, little cool flashes of TV simulator goodness.